some things about the Quran, about Fatiha that are just absolutely mind blowing. To me, they are absolutely mind blowing. The first three ayat about the Fatiha are about Allah. The first three, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, Maliki Yamadeen, those three ayat are about who? Allah. The last three, Ihdina Sirat al Mustaqim, Sirat al Ladina and Amta Alehim, Ghair al Mahdubi Alehim, Walad Dalin, those last three are actually about us. Okay. There's a middle ayah. The middle ayah is what we want to give Allah and what we want from Allah. What we want to give Him is ourselves and slavery. What we want from Him is help. In other words, the first part of the Fatiha is about Allah. The middle part is between us and Allah. And the last part is about ourselves. It's, everything is totally balanced out. Allah, both of us, ourselves. Okay, so this is our relationship with Allah perfectly balanced. Now, the first three statements were Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, and what? Maliki Yawm Din. You know what the conclusion of those three things is? I described to you praise and gratitude, that He's the Master, that He's so caring and loving that He doesn't punish you right away, but there will be a judgment day. The conclusion of all of that is, I want to be your slave. Okay, you know what? I'm ready. Sign me up. How do you, what's that conclusion in Arabic? How do you say that in Arabic? Iyaka na'budu. Okay. So the conclusion of the first part is Iyaka na'budu. What's the next part? Wa Iyaka We're asking for your help. Notice, the rest of the Fatiha is simply us asking for help. Guide us, show us the path of the good, not the path of the bad. Isn't that all of that asking for help? In other words, in Iyaka Na'budu is the conclusion of part one, and Iyaka Nasta'een is the introduction to part two. It's beautifully balanced. This is beautifully balanced. <laughs>